to thank you. 22 Berkeley Drive, and thank you for allowing me to speak. And thank you, Sandy B. Free, for having the courage to say what you just said. It's been a long time coming. And I am going to be a voice that is heard. I have come to this podium for years and voiced my opinion. And I will continue in spite of what is going on. My question is to Michelle Dupree. Are you a signatory on all the bank accounts and pension plans? No. What? Can you turn the microphones on? Hello. Sorry. No, I am not. And has anyone given you a reason why? Nobody came. <coughs> Any of you have anything to say for yourself about that? You didn't know that there was going to be a bank officer here? No, really. Interesting. You didn't know there was an executive session scheduled at 5 o'clock at the last meeting? It was on the agenda. You didn't get an agenda? But I walked all, watched all of you walk in here at 5.30, 25 plus 6. That never happens. It's very apparent that this board is trying to stop an elected official from doing her job. Very apparent. And the $64,000 question is why. you're a reasonable person, but it appears we are not dealing with reasonable people here. Nobody here wants to fess up to the childish, immature behavior that is being put forth by our board members. You were elected to serve this community as well. And I don't know how your inactions or actions are serving this community. And yes, you can look down at your papers and, and um, doodle and pretend like I'm not here, but I am. And I'm looking at you, and so is a lot of other people. There's a YouTube channel that, view, that uh, broadcasts these meetings. Over 3,000 views. People see what is going on. It's only a matter of time until someone gets involved, higher up, that is going to put a stop to whatever is going on here. I sat on this board, and I know this is not business as usual. I'm going to address a few things that are on the agenda, which are, I don't even know where to start the outrageousness. And yes, you can look at the clock, Mrs. Dare. I will take my time and I will make my public comment. I will be heard. I will not be 83 years old and come up here. I'm tired of the disrespect when I approach this podium. I'm tired of the disrespect to people who come to this podium. We don't even get the courtesy of someone looking at us and addressing us. I want to, um, Address item number four on the agenda. Approve, deny, keeping trail pens up and functioning on Cardox Road. I've listened to this board talk about the trail pens being put up for overweight trucks and speeding tickets. I would like to know why the state police doesn't use them, if that's how you address that. You don't take someone to a way station? Why do we have way stations along the interstates and highways? The trail cams are a joke. You can shake your head. They're a joke. Number six, discuss meeting with first response medical services. How many 911 calls have they answered? Not a one, as Ms. Hollingsworth will tell you. Not a one. And that's what you want to replace. Our first, first rate, top notch, EMS service with someone who doesn't, who do they, what municipality do they serve? They don't serve any municipality. They're standby 
for football games. That's what they want to give us. That's what they want to bring in here. And they tell us we can't afford $30,000 a year to give to them. Well, I have paperwork here that, as a matter of fact, most of these were signed by you, Mr. Crooney, $31,500 that you signed the invoices well, actually, they are retainers from Braybender Cox for October, November, December. $31,500 for retainers for a Republican marketing company. Go to their website. They improve people's image. Really? How's it working for you? Then, let's go to approve, deny, um, yeah having a workshop. How much money have we spent on, C on EMS workshops in the last two years? Mm -hmm. We paid for a consultant to come to this building and do research. We paid, I believe it's $1,200 or $1,500. He stood at this podium and gave his report. And he told this board that you had one of the best EMS services around and that what you needed to do was to support them. What did you do? You did nothing. Was it ever in a newsletter to support their fund drive? Was it ever on the website to, to support their fund drive? Was it ever on an agenda for people to see? By the way, support their fund drive. Nothing. I want to address the Patterson Road. The road is sliding off. I've had pictures sent to me by people. I know I sat in this room and I listened to Mr. Palermo say that we got $1.2 million from Sunoco for the damages to Patterson Road. Was that put in a separate account and earmarked for the repairs on Patterson Road? I don't believe so. I believe that he said it went into the general fund. That's how we survived that year was the $1.2 million. I don't think that Sunoco gave this board and this community $1.2 million out of the kindness of their heart. I'm sure there was a lot of damage on that road. Was that used for that? How much was used for that exactly? And now we have the road falling off. Now, on here is about Approved deny the road crew fixing the slide on Patterson Road. Them guys can't do we that. have three men. I've listened to this board spend almost $3,000 on an engineer to put up stop signs, <laughs> which I commented that our road crew could do. But we're not going to get an engineer for a slide, and we don't know how bad that road is. We're going to send the road crew out to it. No, I listened to this board approve the engineer go down to Route 8367 to look at drainage. It was mine drainage. It's been draining forever if you've lived here forever. And that's a state road. I listened to this board pay the engineer to draw circles on a hillside to plant trees that Mrs. Dare said at the last meeting we can't afford to buy to finish the park. I could go on and on about the waste of hiring an engineer to do things. Uh, go out and change the batteries on the trail cams. Didn't we have Jessica Steiner doing that? An engineer. Yeah. Really? I have the invoices. How do you justify what you are spending? You have to justify it. It's our money. Standing here and asking these questions. And they are important questions because we're about to lose our EMS services because you say you can't afford $30,000. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. There are so many things that I could go on and on about the agenda that have no explanations, defies common sense. It's ludicrous, some of the things that our money has been spent on. And one other thing I want to touch on, the public needs to know. 
I did get most of my right to know response about um, the Braybender Cox and the CSI investigations. What I did get was invoices that totaled $31,500 for retainers. What I didn't get is what they performed. That was their retainer. Retainer for what? Also, the CSI bills that I got shows that we, the taxpayers, we hired an investigator to follow a person or persons. And I totaled the mileage up, 892 miles. For what? How can that benefit anybody in this room? And it came to almost $15,000 for that. How do you justify what you are doing with our tax dollars? How do you justify the fact that none of you seem to be concerned with the fact that an elected official is not on as the signatories and cannot see the accounts in which our money is in. Has anybody reached out to you, Ms. Dupree, from this board to help? No. Has any, any legal reached out to help? No. Anyone affiliated with this board reached out to help you with this. She is a signatory. You voted for it at the reorganization meeting. The real question is why? Why are you doing what you're doing or not doing anything? Those are the questions and many, many more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Linda.